Hi again guys, this is Christian speaking, or CU for short. Uh, this is again a trainer, it's an expensive one. We call it a workstation. Here is the PLC itself. Magnified here is the touch screen. In the top of it is the station label, number seven. Then if we lower it, we're gonna find out the contactors and the thermal relay. Here below, is the three-phase motor itself. And then we can find the motor drive. This is because if you want to change the speed of an AC motor, you can't do this if you don't modify the frequency. And this is what the motor drive is doing. So now the sign is negative because it's turning reverse. When there is no negative, it's turning forward. Anyway, if we go further, here underneath the touch screen is a solid state relay for the analog. Okay. Then we have in the bottom a bunch of push buttons, even a photoelectric sensor. And last but not the least, if we magnify it, here is the workload description. Okay. Very good. But again, if I take if I take a view from a distance. It's too expensive. Thousands and thousands of dollars. You don't even want to know the price. Okay. Let's lower the level a bit. Okay. Here is another kind of trainer. Okay. Uh, it's still expensive. You can certainly lower this one below two thousand dollars. But it's still too expensive for our need, and obviously it won't fit uh, on the corner of the table where you have your place to learn, okay? But I'm just presenting it to you. But if we go just a bit further, we find another one. This one may be interesting, okay? This one is already a bit smaller. It only has the digital commands. It's a very good start, actually. And ours is going to be pretty similar to that. We're going next in the... Uh, other laboratory to see that I have 25 of them already built so you only have to build one okay let's see in the let's see in the other lab 